Oh yeah, let's talk about my new Moza Air. Roll intro. Still need a intro, hey? Uh, why do we care about unboxing videos? I don't know, but we seem to want to do that, so why don't we do a little unboxing video of the Moza Air. Truth be told, I don't actually know what the Moza Air is in here. It's just, I haven't ordered that many things and this is a big box, so hopefully it's that. So uh, what do we got in here? Well, we've got a few things. First of all, I think kind of the main part of the gimbal one. Nice carrying case, welcome. Absolutely love to have that in my arsenal. This is a good chunk of the gimbal. Uh, wow, is that scuff? No, it's just like white full of stuff. We have got the uh, base of the thing. We have got batteries. Moza, Moza, Moza batteries. And these go in the bottom of this handle. One, two, apparently eight hours of battery life here. And we screw that in. Oh. Magical. So gimbal -y thing is in here. I guess you're gonna take that apart each time. The Moza comes with, uh, oh yeah. Uh, these are handles and a rack to be able to do a two-handed gimbal comes like right in the box. So for example, you uh, you basically attach this onto here and this onto here and this onto here and then it makes it two handy gimbal. So gimbals, handily things. We've got a battery charger for all of the different batteries that go on here. USB powered apparently. If you can do four batteries, it has three. I guess that's fine. We've got a little lens supporter. We've got the other side of the screw for doing the two handy thing, I'm assuming. And we've got a nice velvety, velvety cushy bag with uh, cables. We've got cables to connect uh, Panasonic GH series cameras, Sony cameras, Canon DSLR cameras, and a regular micro USB for something else. Anyway, nice that they include that in here all inside and that is the end of this but all included in a very nice case all right so let's just talk briefly about why i picked the moza air there's a lot of other good handheld gimbals like the jayoon crane version 2 2 lots of other brands out there i picked the moza because it was reasonably priced at 5.99 us dollars and I had almost that much in all my Amazon gift cards I've ever gotten from you buying stuff being referred off this channel. And it kind of fit in there. And the Zhiyun looked nice too, but I had heard good reviews of the Moza Air. I watched a review video between them and I just liked the way the motion was a little bit smoother. Uh, some people locally had kind of recommended it at my local Don's photo. And so I thought, hey, why not? Both of them seem to be good and I don't think you can really make like a bad choice for a handheld gimbal if you're gonna spend like at least $500 US. And so I thought, this one's kind of cool. I love that it came with the dual handles to be able to do that kind of motion when you're running around. I didn't spend the extra $200 you can get for an extra 200 bucks of like, a, I think it's like a little Bluetooth or wireless thumb controller. So you can have somebody else control it or you can do it with your thumb because this thing has an app. And so if somebody wanted to be off camera and controlling it or I wanted to be off camera and controlling it, I'd probably use the app, but I just don't see myself doing that a whole lot. And it was $200 more and I think I can just buy it afterwards if it's something that I think that I really, really need. So I just kind of got the basic one I just want to try it out and see how it works. So maybe we'll do a studio tour after I balance it and see how long that takes. Ta-da! Hey, I haven't turned it on yet, but we've actually like balanced this gimbal here and it works good. Um, top tips, one, when it says this side up, it means that side up and don't put your camera backwards in the plate or else it'll seem very, very difficult to be able to uh, do this, but I think we're ready to uh, power this bad boy up. 
Here we go. Whoop! Oh, hello! Hello! Let's turn this thing around. All right. Whoosh. Whoosh. Maybe we should, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we uh, maybe do like a little uh, studio tour kind of thing here? I still figure this out. It's got a bunch of different modes and different things that, you know, I know that we can do, but let's just uh, see how it does. We walk around. This is my whiteboard. If you're like not familiar with how this whole place works is we've got like kind of our set for our Facebook live show over here. This is the desk. I see this thing isn't really letting me pitch down or pitch up. Um, the cereal challenge. This is our little uh, kitchenette area back over here where uh, the food and stuff comes from. We've got uh, the camera that I'm currently recording on. We're going to try and put the big Sigma and the A6500 on this later. Inside here is kind of like, I don't know, gear storage. Whoop, that's definitely backwards. Got uh, gear storage all on there. Desk, it's time to do invoicing. So that is a little bit of a mess. And uh, yeah, back around the studio here. So I'm currently walking with this and I have no idea other than like kind of what I'm looking at the back of the camera. There I am here of how this is working, but this is a 10 to 18 millimeter. It has IS. The A5100 it's on does not have IS, but you know, just as far as like a little like, I'm sure there's a lot of practice that gets involved with this, but even like if I'm walking carefully, I think it can end up looking pretty good. Seems like it's kind of smart for the way that it follows my movements too. I'm actually quite impressed with the way that that works. So there you go, basic studio tour done. So the next thing that I actually want to try though is putting the gigantic Sigma 18 to 35 with the MC11 and the A6500 on it and seeing what happens. So we're gonna do a little swapperoo here. All right, good news team. We have the Sigma balanced on the Moza and it seems to be working out reasonably well. Again, this is a big heavy lens on a little mirrorless camera that's extended even further because of the converter. And so she's tight at the back. I don't know if you can see that. Is I basically had to put the camera almost all the way back. There's like a tiny little gap. What's disappointing is I have this beautiful Tiffin variable ND filter and I had to take this off or else I couldn't get it far enough, there, far, far enough back to be able to balance it. Although I think I can probably end up putting like a little weight on the top and that may help it a little and find a way just so that it continues to clear, but it appears to be doing it. So let's hit record here and we are going to take a little wander. Again, I'm not pretending to be the uh, best handheld gimbal pilot here because frankly, I've never used one before, but let's just see what we can do here. Try a crane shot of the coffee stuff. Ready? Turn it. I don't know what that was like. Let's just wander around here. This gimbal is definitely feels heavy with the Sigma on here. Obviously, that is not a light lens combo for being able to walk around. Probably making you guys sick here, but just to be able to see it. I move quickly. I'm not stepping lightly either to be able to do that. How about coming across the stuff here? Boom. How about a little lift up? Uh, to be honest, I'm actually amazed that the motors can handle this because it feels so heavy. Now, again, the limit on it is five and a half pounds, which is like a lot. This is definitely lighter than that. And just, I mean, I guess it's about getting it balanced, but overall, I think this Moza Air is going to be awesome. Again, I got to figure out this weighting a little bit so I can use my variable ND. I think there's a workaround for that, but so far so good. And again, I have to play with it a lot. We'll do more like comprehensive in-depth review. Actually, or I've actually shot a couple of projects with it, but just kind of want to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think if you have specific questions or thoughts or feedback or if you tried out these different ones. Maybe we've got the Jayun Crane or no, I can't remember the other brands. Let me know what you guys are using. Love to hear from you.
I'm Justin Rivas. Thanks for watching.